Hello guys, welcome to Amit Things. In this video, we will see how we can easily download and install Perl language on Windows 10. With that, we will also quickly see how to run our first Perl program after installing. Let's begin. At first, go to the browser. I am using Chrome. You can use any browser. On Google, type Perl. Press enter. Now you can see the official website is visible. Click on it. Perl.org. From here in, click on download. Now the download section is visible. Go below. We want for Windows. So I'll directly click on Strawberry Pearl. Now here are the recommended versions. For 64 bit, the first one is visible. Since we have a 64 bit Windows 10 system, I'll click here. So this is the installer file. Now the download will start. It's only 103 MB. Let's wait. So guys, you can see we have successfully downloaded the Perl installer. Double click on it. Minimize this. Now the installation started for Perl. Click on next. Accept the terms. Click on next again. Perl will get installed under C drive. If you want to change the location, click here. I'll keep the default and click on next. Click on install. Now the installation will start. So guys, we have successfully installed Perl. Click on finish. Now let us go to start. Type cmd. Click on open to open the command prompt. Now here in type Perl space hyphen hyphen version and press enter. So you can see we have successfully installed Perl. Now guys, let us quickly run our first program. directly create a new text document here and and let's say I'll name it Amit here in dot txt is visible change it to dot pl on keeping the cursor it will ask that you want to change the extension or not yes I want to change it if you're not getting this option no problem go here okay to allow file name extensions go to view and select file name extensions I already selected it so it allowed me to rename it okay let us open it. You can open with Notepad or Notepad++. I have Notepad++ also, but I'll click on Notepad because I am expecting everyone will use it. Now let us write our first uh, Perl code. We will directly print something quickly. Let's say we printed. Okay, just close it. That's it. Now save it. Go to CMD. Here in, since we are on the desktop, now you can type dir to get the directories. So now you can check we have desktop here. That means you just need to change the directory. cd space desktop press enter. We are on the desktop now. When you will type dir, so we have amit.pl here. Now we will directly run it using command perl space amit.pl our file name was amit.pl and we are at the exact location desktop press enter here you can see we printed the following amit first program like this so guys in this video we saw how we can easily download and install perl on windows with that we also saw how we can run our first program thank you for watching the video